it's easy to go either to appeasement or to argument, right? So someone's resisting us and we capitulate or we fight back. But this ties back to what you were saying about not making excuses or explanations when we say no, because master influencers will key in to those concerns or objections, and that's exactly what can get them what they want. And so in the Aikido school of handling resistance, the idea is that you welcome their resistance rather than pushing back against it. So you're meeting force with a welcome party. And you do this, first of all, just by listening, and second of all, by asking questions to try to understand what is it behind their concern or what are the deeper values underlying this disagreement. And then handling resistance when you're, you want to shift to asking them something. A super simple Aikido move is just asking them permission to ask them. So in a conversation, like even just like, can I ask you a question, right? But if it's, so you want to have a big conversation where you're, maybe you're going to ask for say a raise or promotion at work. Giving somebody a heads up before you ask them helps diffuse their resistance because they didn't get caught off guard. And then also they're going to be prepared. And a third thing that you can do to help diffuse resistance, this one is so weird, but it's just reminding them in whatever way makes sense for the situation that you're not the boss of them, even if you are the boss of them. And what you're doing is you're appeasing their inner two-year-old who wants to say to any influence attempt, you're not the boss of me. And you're just saying before they say that, like, listen, I know I'm not the boss of you. So if you were talking to someone in a higher status role, let's say that it's at work, you might be saying, listen, I have this idea to propose and I know you're super busy or I know you have a lot of priorities, but if you have a few minutes, I'd love to share this with you. So it's just acknowledging you don't take their time and attention for granted. Maybe you're talking to a lower status person on the hierarchy at work and you're you're not going to say, listen, I know you must be busy. You have a lot of other priorities, but you might say something like, listen, it's not up to me, but, or you might say, the choice is yours and here's the situation. You can always tell people what your preference is. So it's not that you just give them the information. You're like, oh, whatever you want. You can say, you know, I think the best course of action is this one and here's why, but you might disagree. You can also be, this is maybe even beyond Aikido. It's being a ninja where you are yourself critiquing your own argument before they're critiquing your argument. And that way you've diffused their reactants and you have addressed these objections in a way that says they're not critical, they're not giant, maybe they're important, but they're completely and totally handleable. And the closer you can get to addressing them as they're thinking it, the easier it is in terms of that path to least resistance. Mm -hmm.